Simon went down and picked up all the materials needed to build the rudder. So today I'm going to start building the rudder. Yes, the more epoxy, the better. Well, what a way to start the year. Is there any way we could seal that? A mooring we picked up to rest for the night had failed during a midnight squall and our home Nanji ended up on the reef. Fuck. With a little help in the morning, we got Nanji floating and safely back to the boatyard where we could finally rest after the worst experience of our lives. So today, the nightmare pretty much just continued. After a difficult week of red tape, bureaucracy and driving around Thailand to clear in... Unfortunately, we are in Thailand, we have to play by their rules. We could finally assess the damage and begin our repairs. The kill was pretty banged up and the port side hull had four major compressions. After therapy with the grinder for a couple of days straight, the damage was visible and I continued to cut out the broken timbers. We always choose to complete boat work ourselves as we like to learn more about our vessel and I figure why pay someone to do something if I can do it myself. Oh, that's so brutal. Oh. It's got to get worse to get better. And right now it's getting worse. Now with two massive holes in the hull, Benita had convinced me that the professionals should do the replanking. <laughs> As my carpentry is not the best, I agreed with the boss, and while we wait on the contractors, I can move forward onto building a new rudder. Our old one was completely destroyed from the reef, but it was built solid and got us back to safety, so I planned to copy the construction. With the grinder in my hand once again, it was time to dissect the old rudder so I could see the inside design. Get him! <laughs> it's too strong! <laughs> We've built this. What a feeling. It was the original owner who built it, built this rudder, because they knew what they were doing. Whoever fixed it back here, they didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> the biggest thing is, is just how the blade joins onto the rudder stuff itself. So it's like a it's like a five mil plate laid onto the front edge here, which looks like it runs all the way down which I was I had planned to do, but then I was going to put a bit of hardwood machine to fit over all of that, but they've just matched it all with the epoxy, with the plywood. I might just be able to build it out of that composite stuff because that's going to be so much easier. Can you put like a jack in here and like wind it up or something? Yeah, you could. Keep going, you nearly got it. I've cut down the inside edge of the shaft here. This would be stainless shaft, looks like about a one inch. And so it's got that leading edge, stainless, at the front, and it's got, looks like it's got four bits that have gone back. Uh, we'll see if we can. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Wow! How interesting! Look at that! You can see how this one's bent. Yeah. So that's what pushed it apart and yeah. broke the rudder. Yeah, so it looks like this is just, this top half is just all glassed up. That's the uh, rudder bones. The bones? The bones of the rudder. See how it kind of kicks out a bit at the base? Yeah, there's a little bit of a curve there. So definitely need a new one. Yeah. yeah. It's 316, same, same. But see how... Oh, no good. Oh. Huh? Must be 90. I need only, only stainless, Ledger. 316, stainless. Ah. One little notch down. The stainless steel guys just came and <laughs> it's funny. And took the old rudder stuff. They can't speak a lick of English, and we but we can't speak a lick of Thai. They're just like um, so we can't charades. Really so I'm thinking, I don't know. We're trying to get a price, but he said cool, but yeah, yeah. we can't really call because we don't understand each other. <laughs> um, it's okay. We can call and maybe yeah. their boss can speak English. Yeah, or maybe yeah. we'll get someone from the marina to call. Yeah. So I've decided that I'm not going to use the honeycomb stuff for the rudder. It seems like it's really strong stuff, but the turning point was pretty much the fact that I bought a heap of good wood, wood glue, wood epoxy glue, uh, to stick the rudder together. And then I haven't got a heap of silica, so I can't really make a good epoxy uh, resin glue mix myself, because I'd have to go buy more silica. So the fact that I've got a heap of glue, we'll use that. And so we're going down to buy some marine ply now instead of that honeycomb stuff. Uh, we found some good marine ply. I'll make it up with a similar design 
Um, but like marine ply comes in sheets of 2.4 by 1.2 meters. It's pretty standard, and they won't cut it, which is pretty standard as well. But they they won't even cut it, even if I buy the whole sheet. So I need to. We just had to run back to Nanji, get the circular saw. And we'll go back and we'll chop some shit up in their shop. <laughs> Love Thailand. And then we'll uh, stick it in the boot of the hire car and hang it out the back. <laughs> We're down here at the wood shop with the uh, wood saw. Here it is. Put the seat down, it'll fit. No man, it's Thailand. <laughs> These modern day fancy cars, I have no idea how to put this seat down. What? It doesn't make any sense at all. It's got a, it's normally like buttons on the top, but there's just no button or anything. I don't know. Okay, so Thailand style, it's getting the boots getting tied shut. And we head back to the boatyard and keep working. <laughs> great, great, great idea to leave the boot open and not put the chairs down because now we get to listen to this soothing beeping noise for the next 20 minutes on the drive back to the boatyard. Oh, I love Thailand. Oh my god. You know, you get like, beep, 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 what is up, my girlfriend? It's working really good though. I don't know what you complain about. For the last couple of hours, we've been driving around everywhere, filling the boot up with plywood. The boys have just been going ham. Very good. Thailand is known for great woodworkers, and these lads certainly had this job under control. The new rudder staff also showed up on time and the repairs felt to be moving forward at full steam. Is that one too? No, that's fine, that's how it goes. Should we put the bolts in? Blast that in. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Good. So I got the new rudder staff back yesterday uh, around lunchtime and I went down and picked up all the materials needed to build the rudder. So today I'm going to start building the rudder. I cut the, the old one in half to pull out the rudder staff to see what it looked like because I was just going to copy it. And then just to see how they had built it as well. This one's pretty much all built out of plywood. I'll do very similar to the one that I'm going to make. But to start with today, I'll start building from the inside out. As the, the blades off the rudder staff are six mil, so I've got some seven mil thick plywood. So I'll cut that around to make that middle sheet to build up all of that area and then the plan is to put two 10 mil bits of plywood on top of that uh, which will encompass in the shaft and then a leading edge of hardwood at the front that's the rough plan for each 10 mil layer we'll pig style the wood so then it's got different strength capabilities and they're just heaps of epoxy to join them together So I've cut out the middle bit, the 7 mil, and where the blades of the rudder staff will fit in. And I've got another piece on the other side with the opposite grain, so the grain's going the other way. And I've cut the top piece here as well, but... Uh, so now I'll join the middle bit and the bottom bit. Yeah, we'll let that all epoxy overnight, and then tomorrow we'll put the rudder staff in, and we'll epoxy on the tops and we'll put on the uh, other half then so then it's three layers with the rudder stuff in the middle and then on top of that i'll put two more layers of plywood one other side and i've been having a little play around here so this is like real dense hard wood and so on the front edge i'm thinking i'll a little something like that and then i can shape that round so then we got an extra strong front edge yeah the old rudder was built similar they didn't have a wedge like this going over the top of that's my own design i've created 
but yeah, we'll see how that goes. So first things first is we'll just stick these two bits together and clamp it all down and stick some screws in it and we'll let that dry overnight. Yeah, we'll two to one. So there's going to be five layers. It'll be 10 mil, 10 mil, 7 mil, 10 mil, 10 mil. So these will just be in the middle. So it's all epoxied in, cut the clamps, heaps of screws and covered up the holes with the screws, a bit more epoxy. Yes, the more epoxy, the better at the end of the day. I think that's the, the way I'm gonna roll. So that's the seven mil bit that's wedged in the middle. The bottom piece is a 10 mil. And there's the rudder stuff in there. It's just kind of sitting in there at the moment. It's gotta obviously be pushed in a bit more. Um, and then the next bit goes on top here. This is in two pieces because the grain's going vertical, whereas the seven mil bit is horizontal. And so made two pieces like that. And that I've got to cut that out, the shape of that. So that'll go on there. Epoxy all that together and squish all that together. And then I'll put, we've got this here. It's like a solid bit of hardwood. So this is like the leading edge. I've cut out a big thin strip through the middle. So this is kind of our leading edge. This is where the prop needs to be cut out, where we put the auto prop on. So that kind of slots onto the front. Just got to router out five mil on this edge here. So then that can match into the next piece of ply that goes on top. So then they'll be running, they kind of join into the hardwood, which will then go into there and put a bit of filler just to match that cutler mill. And I've got to shape all of this then, and there'll be another bit of ply on top here. We'll come back to like here, which I'll then filler so we can make the gradient going back, taper the run it back. Yeah, so that's the plan. Should be able to epoxy down this 10 mil bit once I cut that out. I'm just scratching it and roughing it up. We're gonna be gluing down another piece of wood onto this and so we want the glue to have something to grip onto. So I'm just, yeah, roughing it up, making it nice and scratchy. I'm gonna do the same thing to the part that's going to glue onto here and um, yeah Josh is just mixing up some epoxy and then we can stick it down. Key to epoxy is you really got to mix it well. So when you think you've stirred it enough and it's mixed together, stir again. So just try to put a pretty decent uniform layer all the way around all the way to the edges, a bit thick around the edges to remember to squeeze tight or squirts out the side. You really don't want to have any voids or air bubbles or anything under here because that'll just be a weak spot. So we just got to pile it up. And when these, like the veins go in here, they need to be smothered in epoxy so there's no air bubbles or nothing in there. So I really have to- Mix them more. Probably have to mix a bit more, I think. Yep, we want it nice and wet. And we just put it in the shade while Josh mixes up some more. It was kind of hard to film, but uh, we put enough wood epoxy glue on there to sink a ship. And uh, now we put the top bit of wood on and we're just clamping it down. 